Atheist Republic from Silk Rabbit is asking, what are your views on the Kyle Rittenhouse trial? Well, watching some of the pieces of the trial over the past few days has been very interesting, to say the least. I think, I think while I was talking to Armin about before the show about how um, it really bothers me, like the depth of character assassination that happened in the media as soon as this event occurred like literally within like 15 minutes. <laughs> um, and I was talking to him about how when I was like, focused on Mujahideen, like I, when I would hear people say like, oh, left-wing media bias, blah, blah, blah. Like I thought they were just bullshitting and like dog whistling. And sometimes I still see people say like left-wing media bias. And I think they're totally full of crap, especially when it comes to like queer issues. Um, but this is a, this is an instance where I feel like, like the way that I've seen, uh, liberal and lefty, um, people cover this issue has just been horrendous. Um, yes, it's, it's complicated. I have complicated thoughts on it, but to generalize, I think it was self-defense, but I was actually today was going back and watching the footage. I can understand why the people who advanced on him, why they did. But I still think he was right to defend himself in that moment. Yeah, it's I would have done the same thing. If I was on the ground like that and some people were coming to add me like the way that they did. I would have like I would worry about the legal issues later. I would I would do ex what he did to live, right? I, it's just so I don't I don't understand. Like I kept on looking at some of the videos, and I was like, this, to me, it seemed like such an obvious case of self defense. And then people who I trust were saying like, no, 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 this, this guy is a monster. Blah, this yeah. and this. And then, like, maybe they're saying something that I'm not. Like, I mean, I haven't, maybe I haven't, I haven't, you know, I wasn't that interested in it to look at the details. Or like, maybe I'm just judging based on the few things I've seen, and they've looked into it a lot more than I have. And maybe they're right, and I'm, I'm happy to be wrong about this. But it would just seem weird to me because based on the little information I had and based on the things I saw, I was like, I mean, it seems like, it seems like too obvious that this is this was like i mean the most you could say about him is like why you know like maybe this is a, not a legal issue this is more of a like a, as a parent i would be disappointed for why you show up in a protest like this with a gun like that right I mean, but there's nothing but the, the things that he was being condemned for like murdering people like you know if i have i might have some other less legal more moral issues with the kid you know what i mean as what yeah, the hell yeah, are yeah. you doing over there but like the things that he was being accused of are completely I, it seemed to me at least that were completely unfounded i was like i like it seemed like they were telling me something that was completely contradicting what i was saying i was like yeah what are you guys looking at right like I, I, maybe i should stop I, maybe i should stop believing my own eyes right so it was weird to me and and it's now that there's more information coming out, and it seems like I was seemed like I was right based on more information that was coming out. Um, and it's just so amazing to watch all the people that were so passionately portraying this kid as a monster acting like they were saying something less aggressive. They were like, Well, yeah, maybe he's like maybe like he couldn't be um, legally be responsible for this but he still did this and he still did that and this is what we had an issue with like that's not what we were saying you were not saying and they're acting like they were always saying something different they were acting like they were always like well he shouldn't have had a gun or he shouldn't have like crossed state lines or what he shouldn't have like you weren't saying these things you were like talking about you were you were making this guy this kid seem like this is a far right monster that just was trying to just like like a domestic radical for... extremist yeah like that's not what you were saying you're and you're, you're not even pretend like instead of saying i'm wrong i was so yeah, yeah, wrong yeah. you're acting like you were saying something else from to begin with it, like how like come and say you were wrong and you know i i kind of i think they were just being racist 
I think oh, this was this is getting spicy now. I f- no, I seriously think this is a case of this is a white kid with a gun, and I don't think I honestly think this is a. And if I'm right, and if, if this is a form of racism, if this kid, if if they turn this kid into a target because he was white, and these all these leftists went after him as a scapegoat, as like a just decided to all just unite and destroy this kid's life because he's white, then then you then you people are disgusting. Like you decided to make this kid's uh, kid's life as a target for your amusement, for your enjoyment of taking a male, white white male person down, even though he's a kid, as a way for you to get joy out of seeing somebody on, on not left-leaning. Like, imagine how disgusting and how immoral that you have to be for you to not, instead of, like, looking at the evidence and trying to just wait and see, like, maybe be skeptical, maybe, like, wait for the judgment to come down, if you just like, ooh, I want to see this kid suffer because he just looks such such a stereotypical white male uh, target that these a lot of these left leaning people hate. If that was if that was the motivation, if his whiteness or if it had anything to do with how much glee and how much joy people were getting out of like what wanting to see this kid suffer or burn or get like the form of justice that they that they believe in if that was the motivation then you have to look at yourself you have to you have to look at the mirror and say like i'm a racist and i need to i need to change like this is disgusting i'm a disgusting piece of crap and i need to i need to fix myself really quickly so as an example of this this is a sitting member of congress iona presley she tweeted this the day after it happened a 17 year old can i say this right now because of youtube um just say low melanated supreme sandwich if you want to know what i'm really talking about just look at the screen okay a 17 year old low (laughs) melanated uh supremacist domestic violent radical extremist who drove across state lines (laughs) Mm. armed with an ar-15 he shot and killed two people who had assembled to affirm the value dignity and worth of black lives fix your damn headlines Again, so the look at next this. day, the, the next yeah. day, we know, mm. like, this drives me crazy. This drives me crazy. There's mm. no evidence, like, especially at this point in time, especially at this point in time, people can bring up the, the hand sign thing. Like that happened later. That didn't happen the day afterwards. Like it drives me insane. I think what complicates it for me is looking at it from different perspectives. So I was reviewing the footage today. And so first we have the instance with Rosenbaum, who is just an unhinged man. And so Rosenbaum starts charging at Rittenhouse while he's running away, throws something at him. As he's running away and this thing is thrown at him, a gunshot goes off. A different man fires off a handgun. So Rittenhouse hears a gun immediately behind him. This is happening within seconds right? That was me. And I was, you know, my cortisol is rushing through my blood. I would think the guy who's chasing me is the one firing a gun at me. Then they have the incident. That's when Rosenbaum gets shot. He goes down. And then Kyle stands there for a little while, checking things out. And we're like, um, someone else is helping him. And then he calls a friend and then he runs off. That part's a little, I don't understand what's happening. That part is a little weird. But like I said, the cortisol is rushing through your body right? I'm not expecting anyone to act the most rationally they ever could. Then at that point, he starts walking away from the situation. And then other people start going, he just shot someone. He just thought shot someone. So other people start chasing him again, uh, presumably to try to apprehend him, which seems in retrospect, of course, extremely dumb to me, right? Because you just, you, everyone is saying this person just shot someone, right? And you're advancing on them. And then, but the, so from the people of the perspective of the people who are advancing on them at that point, it's very different perspective than Rosenbaum first was right at this point, they know that someone's down. So they're trying to apprehend him in some way. Okay. That's highly risky, right? From their perspective, they might think that they're doing something noble, trying to prevent harm towards others, right? Maybe we would applaud people who were trying to take down an active shooter, which is a different situation, 
than what ha exactly what happened, but just for comparison, right? So that might have been their mentality going into it. And that's the most charitable that I can be. I but, mean, we need to get to other questions. Oh, shoot, I know. Oh, but then what actually happened, the way they advanced on him, like the perspectives are so different. I can see why he was like, oh my God, I need to defend myself too. And any, by the way, anyone who says, oh, since when can you kill someone with a skateboard? You're, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I legit saw a news commentator, like in the news saying, since when, how, can you even like kill someone with so, a skin, skin, skateboard anyway? Yes, you can get TBI, severe brain injury. Someone can definitely get killed with a skateboard. Are you kidding me? Sorry. Right. I, I want to highlight this uh, comment by D because you look at what's on the screen. This is a congresswoman, right? This is a congresswoman, right? So D is mm -hmm. saying all involved are white has nothing to do with racism. They will make it about racism if you're white. It doesn't matter if the victims are black or white. If you are white, they will make this a bad race. Okay? So, and this came again. The tweet was from a congresswoman. It didn't take a day before they made this a bad race. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.